senators yesterday raised the alarm that Nigeria is under siege from murderous non-state actors whose activities are threatening the continued existence of the country. The scenario, sorry, the senator said is further heightened with records from the United Nations Regional Center for Peace and Disarmament in Africa that out of 500 million illegal weapons circulating in West Africa, 350 million, 70% are domiciled in Nigeria. Making the submissions during a public hearing organized by the Senate Joint Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, Navy and Maritime Transports on Firearms Act 2004 Amendment Bill 2021 and Exclusive Economic Zones Act 2010, Repeal and Reenact a reenactment bill 2021, Sani Uba said the country needs to urgently address the worrisome situation. Sani, who is the sponsor of the firearms amendment bill, lamented that proliferation of illegal arms and ammunition with little or no control by relevant authorities has profound implications for collective survival of Nigerians and Nigeria. We are gathered here to deal with a matter that has profound implications. Sorry, I beg your pardon. The Sani, who is the sponsor of the Firearms Amendment Bill, lamented that proliferation of illegal arms and ammunition with little or no control by relevant authorities has profound implications for collective survival of Nigerians and Nigeria. We gathered, we are gathered here to deal with a matter that has that has profound implications for our collective survival. We are under siege from murderous non-state actors. They have been acquiring arms illegally, maiming our people and threatening the continued existence of our dear nation. We either take measures to deny them of the oxygen that sustains their nefarious activities, or we watch helplessly as they overrun us and our country. The aim of the proposed amendment to the Firearms Act, he explained, is to curtail proliferation of illegal arms and bring the existing law in line with global best practices. He said, the UNREC recently reported that the proliferation of illicit small arms and light weapons in Nigeria had reached an alarming proportion. A pointer to this effect can be cited with the incidents of January 31, 2017, when the Nigerian Customs Service confirmed the interception and seizure of 661 pump-action rifles imported from China into our country. More recently, in Benue State, a local militia had the temerity to kill an army captain and 11 soldiers, not to talk of the reign of terror in Oweri, Imo State, by unknown gunmen, who launched coordinated attacks on the police headquarters and correctional centers. Something must be done urgently to curtail arms proliferation, the very reason for the proposed amendment bill on the existing Firearms Act. He listed the five major objectives of the amendment bill to include imposition of stiffer penalties for offenses under the act. One of such penalties is the one under section 27 subsection 1c, which proposed increase of fine from 1,000 naira to 1 million naira. But a representative of the chief of air staff Air Vice Marshal Oladayo Amau, in his submission, objected to the 1 million naira and proposed 2 million naira. Earlier, Chairman of the Committee, Okoyemi Bamidele, said the purpose of the two bills were to further strengthen the extant laws against illegal firearms possession and proliferation, as well as making provisions of the Act 
on exclusive economic zone to be in line with global practices as far as protection of the nation's territorial sea and waters are concerned. Meanwhile, reactions have continued to trail the Senate's statement that Nigeria is under siege. The former governor of Anambra State, Chief Chukwemeka Ezife, agreed that Nigeria is in their situation. Our continued existence is in serious danger like the like they senators pointed out. But it only shows that they are blaming themselves because they are part of the government, he stated. He therefore appealed to Nigerians, irrespective of religious belief, to pray for the survival of Nigeria. For the president of the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum, Alhaji Yerima Shetima, the Senate statement amounts to an insult and abuse on the sensibility of Nigerians. It is an insult and abuse on the sensibility of Nigerians for the Senate to sit down and just say that Nigeria is under siege when we have been suffering all this while in the hands of bandits. He described the security situation in the country as frightening, even as he charged the senators to realize that the issue is degenerating by the day. And I am afraid if anybody will escape it at the end of the day, all of us will be victims if they don't take measures immediately. They have to wake up to the realities of the day that we are in big trouble. The earlier we wake up to accept that we have a serious monster and work collectively to defeat it, the better, otherwise, all of us will be consumed. The National Publicity Secretary Middle Belt Leaders Forum, Dr. Dogo Inua, also charged the lawmakers to step up to their responsibilities, even as he blamed them for being quiet in the face of the wrongdoings in the country. Nigeria is dying, and this has been going on for a long time. The question is, why has the National Assembly not done anything all this while? Why did they wait until we are close to the end of the tunnel? The National Assembly has not acted on what they are supposed to do. If Nigeria is under threat from these non-state actors, why is it that nothing has been done to stop it from happening? In my opinion, the worst is yet to come if nothing is done at the earliest time possible to stop it. Who would believe that despite the killings that have been going on in southern Kaduna for years, not a single person has been arrested, not to talk of being persecuted? If Mieti Allah would come on television and own up to their collaboration with those doing the killings, what else can you say? They know the killers, so why have they not done anything about it? The National Assembly knows what is happening and they know what to do. If they feel that something is wrong, they should act now before it is too late. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? But this is the truth that these people have said. The National Assembly are waking up late. They've been sleeping all this while. And it is better they rise up right now and address the situation before, you know, it completely gets out of hand because it is already getting out of hand. Well, drop by at the comment section, guys. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you are yet to subscribe, kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share this new story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.